I used to always watch you play, so actually to be in a partnership with Rachel <laughs> Burford is, is pretty much a dream come true. Not to make you blush or anything, but... Sorry, but no. Really good leadership is about people understanding what their strengths are and then using those around them, and I think you do that both on and off the pitch. Thanks for the tea. You're welcome. Hope it energises you for this. <laughs> right, first question, let's jump in. Who are you and what do you do at Harlequins? Shall we do it for each other? Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. We've got Rachel Burford, we've got vice captain at the club, who was captain for many, many years, um, who I've learnt so much from. Um, Ex England player, international, both 15s and 7s, been at four 15s World Cups and two 7s, jack of all trades. Um, we found a picture recently of us actually playing 7s against each other oh, yeah. uh, back in the day. Um, unbelievable legend of the game is our Rachel Burford. Oh, thanks, JD. Um, well, who are you? Jay Conkle Roberts, recently married. Got to put that in there because that's a milestone <laughs> in everybody's life. Um, obviously, been one of the key players at Queens for a really, really long time. Always been a strong leader here, and this season taking on club captaincy. We want you back on the pitch. Now you're carrying a bit of an injury at the moment, um, but definitely the right person to lead the club into the future for sure. Um, alongside all your international honours. Um, at 15s, attended one World Cup so far, plenty more time in you at the moment, but um, yeah, key asset to have at club. Thanks, that's nice. <laughs> right, question two. How would you describe your working partnership? I'd say we work really well together. I'd say I continuously learn a lot from you, even though, you know, I try and take take the lead in a lot of things, but I think you're really, really good at allowing me to do that. Um, and I think anything that I need help with, you're never more than a question away or a text away to actually help. And I think, yeah, I think we work well. We're both pretty level-headed, calm people <laughs> um, who are quite similar, so I think it works well. But yeah. what do you think? We're not the type of people bouncing off the walls, no. are we? We're not a Sarah Bonner. Um, I think like it's a really positive relationship in terms of the way that we can listen to one another, challenge each other, um, and ultimately we both just want the best for the club and the team. Um, and I think when you've got two people in that place and going in that direction, it's really easy and, and you know a relationship that can continue to build. And and you know like I said, positive relationships in this area is so key because yeah. you know there's so many different people in our in our squad that we've got to make sure that we're aligned. And I think that we're we're definitely moving in that direction we just need you back on the pitch I mean I'm gonna absolutely out myself here but I mean I used to always watch you play so actually to be in a partnership with Rachel <laughs> Burford is is pretty much a dream come true not to make you blush or anything but Sorry, back no. in the day I used to in school be on the library on the library computer and I used to look at all the international rugby players because I thought how cool it was and I always remember seeing your picture and thinking that you were just this like superhero oh my god I did so, not know that um, I thought I was too old Nah. to be on any library back then. <laughs> it was like one of those block computers, so. <laughs> it was like this thick in yeah, the back, literally. yeah. Nice. Describe each other's energy. Well, I think your energy is, you're really positive, really supportive. Um, when, when things need to get done and get going, you're prepared to step up and, and be that voice. Um, and I think that that just is natural to you. Um, and I think it really feeds off onto other people as well. Um, your energy, again, calm collected. I think the amount of knowledge you have about the game is so incredible and I think everybody trusts you and would go to battle for you. So I think you give off this really positive, you know, calm leadership that everyone thrives off and knows that we can count on you in those like stressful moments because you can uh, step up and do what you need to do and I think people believe in you for that. And I'm not just, you know, building you up genuinely. <laughs> um, I think your energy is great and you give off a really good vibe and one that lots of people can come to and you're really approachable. Just trying to keep up with the young kids. <laughs> I'm really all? tired. <laughs> <laughs> How do you energise the team in the training and in changing rooms? That's a good question. Um, so I, I think that you do this by complete action. Like the way that you train physically, mentally, you put absolutely everything into it. whatever it is. It's like 100% or it's no percent with you. Um, and that's such a, a simple but really effective um, across the whole team and to just follow you and follow your lead. Um, 
And I think the changing room is a really interesting one because mm. it's everyone's got such different personalities and, and playing at this level, you want to allow everybody to express themselves and be who they want to be. And But I think um, what you do really well is actually recognising and harnessing actually what what's needed in those moments and in those times and whether it's a bit of focus or actually the team's really flat and we need to lift everybody. And, that, and I think the other thing is really important is like, you're not Sarah Bonner, who is bouncing off the walls, cheery, dancing around, but you'd go to her to then bring that energy. And it, I think like really good leadership is about people understanding what their strengths are and then using those around them. And I think you do that both on and off the pitch. Thanks. That's a good answer. <laughs> That's me. We're getting all awkward, like praising each other. Oh, no. <laughs> Never had this many compliments. Um, yeah, I'd say you're similar. Like you're very calm and collected. And I think you're very good at bringing clarity. Um, I think you speak when you need to which is great and I think yeah if anybody's got any questions you're really like I was saying before like approachable people can always come to you about a game plan or mm -hmm. things on and off the pitch as well so I'd say you bring that calm, calm collected energy but you know when to maybe raise your voice if you need to <laughs> and uh, get the troops fired up when you need to as well but yeah I'd say you're definitely calm and collected both in team training but then you know when you need to step up um, and you always make sure that you step up as well if like like you'll lead by example which is good <coughs> aside, oh, yeah, <laughs> aside from winning trophies what are your aspirations for the team and i guess how do we see each other's roles within that so my aspirations for the team um just to keep building as one of the clubs like this is the only premiership club that i played for in england and it's the only club i want to play for um <laughs> And, you know, I really want other people to just really know what it feels like to be part of the Harlequins family. And, like, mm -hmm. it's such a good atmosphere. And I just want more people to be able to feel that, like, find that place where you belong. And I feel like that's where a lot of people feel. That's what a lot of people feel like at Harlequins. So I want to keep building the club so then that opportunity for people to play for the club and enjoy it is still there. Um, and your role within that is you do everything to push this club forward. <laughs> the amount of stuff you do behind the scenes does not go unnoticed. And each part of that is just pushing this women's team forward. And that's exactly what we need. We need people like you to be able to do that. And I think your role is just absolutely pivotal in it. Um, and we definitely wouldn't be where we are just now without all the stuff that you've done in the background to get us to where we are. I'm, I'm totally aligned with what you're saying. I think winning trophies, we definitely want to do that. But of course. But we also want to be bigger than that. We want to have such a big reach. We want to be, you know, the best club known in the Northern Hemisphere. We want to have the best community. But I think we've got so many players in the team that want all those things as well. So actually, whether it's me doing some stuff behind the scenes or it's yourself or other players, because so many of us are passionate about making this club be the best it can be. And all the opportunities that we can create through that, it makes it quite easy to keep moving it forward. and. I think we're so proud to be at Quinn's because for so long we've been the front runners. We've always been the ones who create big opportunities or spectate, um, big spectacle events. And, you know, that pulls people in and gives them belief and want to be part of it. So I think where this club can go is, is really exciting. And I think because we've got so many people on the same page and aligned and passionate, like, yeah, we want to win trophies. And obviously that then has a knock on effect to the other things. But ultimately, everybody wants this club to be the best club yeah. operating. I think we'll get there. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> okay, Harlequins for Women recently broke the world record for club attendance. How do you suggest to keep the sport energised moving forward? Well, I think energised is a really key word. It's like not sitting back, like, yes, we broke the world record. And we're really, really proud of that and thankful to all the people that came to watch. But then what's next? Like, it's not just sitting on that kind of that step and thinking, OK, well, we tick that box. It's all about how do we re-energise to then try and create the next world record or yep. create other opportunities. Um, and that's just having good people in the room, pushing those questions, asking, you know, how do we push further? What's the progress? How can we get better? I mean, we've got such a big squad of really experienced people, knowledgeable, um, that want to bring ideas and thoughts about ideas that we can do to, to grow the game and keep pushing the sport forward. Um, and I think a big thing that we're starting to do more and more of is actually celebrate the people in it. Yeah. Um, we've got so many fascinating stories, like actually elevating who we've got in our team to tell their story and make them a big name and to spread who they are, I think is something that we need to harness generally in the sport around making big mega superstars out of our people. Yeah. What about you? What do you think we might need to, to keep doing? Yeah, no, I like 
to echo everything you said, the same. And I think what we do as a club to actually push the players we've got to show that we're just people um, is so, so important because it allows other people to see that they can be that too. Mm. And I think, like, I remember the saying, you know, you've got to see it to be it. And I yeah. think that's great. And hopefully we can keep pushing the game so then people do see it and then people want to be part of that, which is only going to grow it further. Um, but yeah, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Okay, I think this is the last question. <laughs> <laughs> if each of you had a superpower, what would it be? And we're giving it to each other, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Do Yours right. would be transportation. Yes. Because I don't know how you do it, but anytime I see a story on your Instagram, you're in a different country, but then all of a sudden you're at training four hours later. Um, so to make your life a little bit easier, I'd say transportation. I would happily take that. Yeah, yeah definitely. That was the first thing that popped to mind as soon as I was like, yep, yeah, you need to be able to transport just... In a, oh. in a finger click. Well, you're quite superhuman anyway, but I was thinking maybe giving you some like bionic ligaments in those ankles. <laughs> <laughs> that would be appreciated. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty uh, metalled up and robo <laughs> now, but yeah, I'll take that. Nice. Here's the power partnerships. Cheers. To power partnerships. And then you've got to flex. <laughs> <laughs> It's the power partnerships. <laughs> you got to say cheers. Okay. okay. Cheers. Our energy partnership pep talk. <laughs> <laughs>